Hey, this is Manny. The Iron Horse raid is a lot more complicated than the Dark Hours raid. So instead of having a general, here's how you do this boss. I figured I'd start breaking each boss down by roles. Now we have tanks, healers, and DPS. Pretty complicated. So in this video, I'll cover the tank role on boss four of the Iron Horse raid. I'll show you my build and a lot of tips and tricks for each phase of the fight, what to expect, what to do, and how to do it. Before we start, if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and ding that notification bell so you know when there's new videos. And if you're looking for someone to game with, you can find me and other players in the Militia Discord server. The link is in the description below. All right, now for the build. This is the same build I use for boss two, so this is not completely optimized for boss four. For example, I'm using a four piece foundry set, uh, mask, backpack, gloves, and knees. And if you look at my set, I have my secondary attribute set to hazard protection. But if you wanted to optimize for boss four, you'd want to go with explosive resistance. I believe uh, probably protection from elites is your best bet for mods. And as you can see in this one, I have a burn resistant mod in there. There's not really a lot of burning in here, but there are a lot of explosive resistance and there are a lot of elites. So damage from elites is probably a pretty good one. Now for the chest, you can go one of two ways. You can go with point man or anything with Vanguard on it. Point man is great because that's perfect Vanguard. So you get bonus armor when you deploy your shield. The other one is Tardigra, which is not as an active thing, but you got the nano plating, whereas someone goes low, they automatically get bonus armor. So if you're running two tanks, one should run each one, but I typically run, I've run doing this as one tank and I run with just uh, point man. And for my holster, I'm running with Dodge City's Gunslinger holster for quick draw so that when my pistol is holstered, it builds up stacks, does headshot damage, does lots of damage. You can use this actually to uh, pop the Chungus's um, backpack so that he foams himself in place that allows your teammates to quickly take them down. Uh, if you don't uh, have guns in this holster, if you do, and if you, or if you're going with Tadagra, you might want to go something else and just pick something with high armor. Uh, for example, this has hazard protection, puts me up to 2.1 mil, but I stick with guns to this holster because it's nice. I usually keep my pistol holstered and I just use my primaries, which are the FAMAS. So if I'm just standing around, I use the FAMAS to help out, especially on Chungus's, I'll use this to uh, help pop a little bit more. And I'm also going with the Ravenous. The Ravenous is used to stagger the boss and we'll go over that in a little bit. And for skills, I go with the decoy and the bulwark. You need the bulwark and the decoy is really helpful. If you don't have the Ravenous, you're gonna have to go with concussion grenades and possibly the explosive sticky mine to stagger the boss. So you might not be able to get the, um, if you don't have the decoy, if you don't have the, uh, the Ravenous, you'll have to go with a different skill set. Skill here, for example, spooky, explosive sticky bomb. And um, I'm going with Technician for, I deploy my decoy. Technician has the ability to, uh, people within five meters are resistant to shock, which the boss actually has a shock ability. So that actually comes in handy if she gets away from you and is close to someone, you could deploy this and they are not gonna get shocked. Same goes with um, your shield. If you have your shield deployed, you're not gonna get shocked. So it's actually a very good thing to have for that. And that's why I chose Technician. That's the build. All right, so Tank and Boss 4 is really easy. I'm gonna break it up into four phases. Phase one starts when you open the garage door and you kill the first Chungus, which is out here. So you gotta kill all the reds, kill the Chungus, run out and grab a key. All right, once the Chungus is dead, grab the key and then head over to the circle for the auto cannon. You'll have to stand in the circle for a little while until it turns to 100%. You just hang out here. You can actually help DPS things. Make sure you call out snipers uh, left and right. And you can also help out with our PG guys. Even after you hit 100%, you're gonna have to hang out in the circle for a little while. I believe it's I believe it's until the first set of ads are killed. Then you can interact with the auto cannon's chain gun. It'll shoot the far left car. And then the car next to it, the chungus will pop out of. You wanna run this way, make sure you tell people it's active because you need as much DPS as possible to down this chunga super quickly because he drops another key. Once the key is dropped, grab it, run back to the auto cannon circle and sit there till it's 100%. just like the first time you're going to sit in it until it's 100% and until it turns green a couple things you should do while you're in here one being is called snipers two being call out which side the auto cannon is firing on and three is help out with dps you're not gonna have a lot of dps with your current uh, build but you can do some damage you might as well do some 
now this is just about how to tank this boss so what you're gonna do is like i said sit in here until it turns green um 100 marker turns green then you interact with the console and the auto cannon fires and shoots another train car you're gonna do this a total of four times so you kill the first chungus when you come out of the garage second chungus comes out left side third chungus comes out the right side and the fourth chungus comes out the left side you're just going to repeat now i fire the chain gun i'm sorry the auto cannon and now chungus is going to come out the right side and i'll let you see where the chungus come out here and then we'll skip over to the end of the phase so this is the fourth time we're operating the auto cannon and it's going to destroy the far right train car we're going to hit it with two more rpgs and then it starts the phase once they hit the two rpgs we're all going to make sure everyone cycles down to the front the middle of the front underneath the main gun you have my attention. the boss is going to spawn and you're going to set up right in the front use the um line in the road as your spot get as close as you can to the broken uh, gravel and deploy your shield right when you start seeing the yellow uh markers for the incoming mortars because uh, you want vanguard to be deployed so make sure you have as much armor as possible and just stand there do nothing else this next part really only works if you have ravenous uh, otherwise you have to just wait till she goes to shoot her mortar before you throw a grenade or hit her with an explosive sticky bomb so i like the tagger with um pistol on the right hand side so I do damage and she's going to shoot mortar right away and as you've seen I switched to my left shoulder to explode the primers that are in the charge now I just threw my uh deployed my decoy and she's going after it she's going to stay on there and I'm just going to keep hitting her with um right shouldered ravenous I'm not doing left because left is a defensive one I don't really care about the defense right now I just want to do damage to her I don't want to do too much damage to her because once you hit three if you th hit three of her pip markers she will phase And we don't want her to phase until they've actually destroyed the round of the main gun in the train. Now, it does require a little communication from the rest of the group because most likely you're following her around, you're not looking at the train, so you don't know when the round is destroyed. Once the round is destroyed, then you want to do uh, damage to her, enough damage to her to uh, cycle the phase, which is three uh, bars. Now, I try to keep her positioned here, but she does run off sometimes. So um, you keep her here so she can't shock anyone. You just saw her in the last clip there where she actually did shock someone. I keep her loaded up with the primer charges on the right hand side and then when you see her kneel down to actually shoot then you uh switch shoulders to your left so ravenous can explode those primers and disorient her and she doesn't shoot now if you don't have that when you see her kneel down you're gonna throw a hand grenade at her or hit her with explosive sticky bomb that's the time you have to do that all right so once the round has been destroyed everyone should cycle back to the front so you can get ready for the phase now you'll actually want a couple guys to focus help focus fire her so you actually destroy the three pips and you can cycle the phase once again same thing put your shield out line up on the um white line in the middle of the road and just wait for everything uh the rounds coming down now you can see we're actually in a mortar round that's okay stand there take it and just reset yourself real quickly so the minigun goes you should be fine it happens once in a while because we're not actually destroying all the mortars now phase three is identical to phase two not going to go over it just rewind and rewatch phase two if you really want to know phase three the same exact thing so we're going to jump over to phase four phase four is just like phase one there's going to be chunguses with keys and you have to activate the auto cannon to destroy the train cars but the boss is also here so you can have one or two jobs if you have two tanks if you're the only tank you're going to be doing auto cannon duty if you are two tanks you may actually have to just um tank the boss again try to keep her in the middle and you know uh disrupt her thing otherwise someone else will have to do the disrupting for you now the first chungus spawns on the right hand side get his key and get to the circle and wait now while you're waiting in the circle at the auto cannon you're gonna actually have to have your shield deployed because the train also has uh, little mini machine guns that will target you you'll get two to three of them at a time and they'll target you and just tear right through your um tear right through your armor and you'll be dead and you won't be able to activate it so you'll have to sit here and wait with your shield out you can't do anything else you can't help with dps you still can call out um snipers and stuff but you got to sit here and wait once the circle's green you're able to activate the control panel activate it it'll fire and shoot one train car and then you're gonna have to go to the left side to get another chungus and you're gonna rinse and repeat 
And if you're running with Vanguard, don't forget to uh, take your shield on and off real quickly to get the bonus armor back. That's a bonus tip. So you're going to deal with a total of three Chunguses. One come, the first one comes right, second one comes left, and the third one and final one comes right. After the third one, it'll actually destroy the main gun. And at this point, you want everyone to kind of get towards the middle, keeping on adds, and now you're going to focus the boss till you get it down to one little pip left. This will cause her to phase, and you'll start, well, I said four phases. I guess technically there's five, but this, I don't think this one really counts. And of course, like all the other phases, same thing. Line up on the white line. She runs back to her little hidey hole and you just wait. And watch out for ads. They're still going to be here. They'll all be dead once the artillery comes down. At this point, your job of, as a tank is done. Everyone runs forward. She comes out. You kill her. So you've done your job. Pretty simple, pretty easy, I think. Uh, not a lot to it. Just help out where you can. And uh, remember, keep deploying that Vanguard if you have it. Tatagra, don't have to do anything, but with uh, Vanguard, you do. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please hit the like button below and leave a comment if you have any questions. I'll do my best to answer them. If you'd like to see more content like this, then please smash that subscribe button. And you can also follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash where I stream Friday, Saturday, and Sunday evening starting at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Until next time, agents, happy hunting.